Hello and welcome to another Sutton Anatomy Hub video. In this one we're taking a look at the cardiac skeleton and we're going to use a view of the heart as seen from above. We can see all of the valves there and the coronary arteries appearing. So the cardiac skeleton is dense fibrous connective tissue. It forms four rings around each of the valves and it surrounds the atrioventricular orifice, the aortic orifice and the opening of the pulmonary trunk. Its general name is called the annulus fibrosis and its job is structural support, attachment for the cusps and of course it provides electrical isolation during conduction. So here's our anterior and posterior views. We can see the fibrous ring here of the pulmonary valve which is most anterior in this view. Next we can label the fibrous ring of the aortic valve which can be seen next and you can see the coronary arteries coming from there that shows that it's the aortic valve. The next one is the right atrioventricular ring, so this is around the tricuspid valve, so there's some connective tissue around there as well, and we see some connective tissue around the left atrioventricular ring of the mitral valve, which is the bicuspid valve. Next we can label the coronary arteries, we've got the right and the left, of course they run in the coronary sulcus, and they come from the aortic sinuses, which are inside the aortic um, valves there, just um, the small depressions. We've got the coronary sinus that can be seen from the tricuspid valve and the left fibrous trigone and the right fibrous trigone. So the trigones are what make up really the annulus fibrosis of the cardiac skeleton. And we can label here the aortic sinuses coming back to the coronary arteries.